Welcome to Copy with Biking. I am Mike. Cheers. Today's devotion, Enduring Emotions. Matthew 28, 8. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell the, his disciples. Trying to imagine the despair the disciples felt after Jesus died is difficult. How could they feel any hope when the person who created that hope had died? But as difficult as it is to imagine, the utter sense of loss is also hard to imagine the sudden emotional rebirth they experienced at the empty tomb. Matthew describes their emotion as fear and great joy. Encountering the more than natural always produces some kind of fear. Although the fear produced by a scary movie or story is such more common in our culture, there is a delightful kind of fear as well. A fear that creates anticipation. Talking with an angel filled both Mary's with this kind of fear. Alongside that fear ran a great joy. The adjective means too much. It's as if Matthew wanted to communicate that it was more than too much joy to write about. It was too much to feel. Encountering the more than natural produced fear and great joy in the disciples. It can do the same in you as you read this week. Look for finding his more than natural presence with cause. You maybe finding his more than natural presence will cause you to feel the same emotions the disciples did as they took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Matthew 28, 9. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, All hell. And they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. 10. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. Father, help me experience enduring fear and joy. And the emotions that the disciples felt, and keep in mind, they saw Jesus when he was alive. They walked with him during his three-year ministry. And the fear and the joy that they felt it's still the same today as we come to Christ, as we've never walked with him, never ministered with him in the physical like they did. We still get those emotions when we come to Christ. And the fact that ours is strictly faith-based because we didn't have the visuals they did it can be overwhelming in a very good way because we feel the fear, we fear the joy, we feel the joy, but we also feel other things that the disciples did not because they saw. They saw him when he walked the earth. 
we experience an even stronger faith than we ever could have had because our faith is not based on what we had seen but based on strictly what we feel when Christ actually touches our heart and the Holy Spirit comes down on us which is actually that is something that the apostles did feel because up in the upper room after Christ's ascension when they were completely filled with the Holy Spirit that's what we feel but to have our faith grow strong based on filling and not by sight as well as filling the apostles got us on that one but we will one day if we give it all to him and live for him we will see him one day in the holy kingdom and not in the human form but in the spirit form and that right there is where our joy comes from too is knowing that one day we will live with him for all eternity we will see him we will worship him we will speak with him and we will feast with him I know I'm ready and I hope you are too and if you aren't I highly recommend it because the option, the other option, isn't any good. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. And know that Christ is still pursuing you unless he already has you. And if he already has you, you already know what I'm saying. You know the feelings. You know that feeling in your heart, your mind, and your soul. That transformation, that rebirth. And you know what is awaiting us when we leave this world. But if you're not ready, I hope that you get ready while there is still time. Because Jesus is coming back. And if you're waiting on normal to come back in this world, it won't. But know that Jesus is. And the and normal will come back when we get up there. When he becomes the number one leader and there is no other leaders. Much love. And know this, whether you love him or not, Jesus loves you. And he went to that cross for you too.